Hi there, I am Pam from Mommy Knows Best and today we will be making some of our amazing lactation brownies. So first you'll want to preheat your oven to 350 degrees. We have three different flavors. We have our double chocolate, our salted caramel, and our new peanut butter candy. So first you'd crack your three eggs into the bowl. One, two, and three. Next, you'll add your butter. Now it's one and a half sticks of butter and it does need to be room temperature. I also recommend cutting it into a few small pieces if you can, that will just help with the blending. Step one is the mixing. Now you'll wanna do this on low speed. If you don't have a hand mixer, that's fine. It will take a little bit longer if you do it by hand with a spoon or a whisk, but you do wanna try to get these two ingredients as blended as possible. This is the only liquid that we're adding to the mixture, so you wanna make sure that they're as homogenous and combined as can be before you add in the dry brownie mix. Today we're doing our original double chocolate, and you will be adding the entire mix. Make sure you get every last delicious chocolate chip out and mix away. If you're doing this by hand, it will take considerably longer, especially in this step, because since there's not a lot of extra liquid in brownies, you do need to mix and mix and mix until it does start to look slightly moist. This isn't going to look like cake batter. It'll look a lot more like a cookie dough. This is a nice, thick, rich batter. We do wanna put it in a nine by 13 pan. And you do want to make sure that you oil or butter the pan slightly. Slightly is key, just a tiny bit to keep them from sticking. As I was saying, it is a nice, thick batter. All I'm doing here is just working that batter side to side, spreading it down to get it all the way into the corners. Now you'll pop it in the oven, 350 degrees, anywhere from 20 to about 23 minutes. Brownies are done. Now the very next thing to check for is doneness. You wanna take your toothpick about one inch from the edge and poke down, comes out clean, brownies are done. They've been cooling for about two and a half hours. I'm gonna cut a nice hearty portion here. One of my favorite ways to garnish these is with just a touch of powdered sugar. And there you have it, a delicious, healthy treat for moms.